the empirical literature in finance shows that the arbitrage pricing theory is unable to identify risk factors while valuing the risky assets now the solution to this problem is the introduction of multi factor models a multi factor model is an empirical model that captures the essence of apt and it relies on the direct specification on form of the relationship that the researcher is interested to estimate this model allows an investor to uh, choose the exact number and identify the exact risk factors uh, the uh, equation form of this model is that return of eth asset is the function of certain factors like f1 f2 and so on these are the multi factors that are combined into this empirical model there are number of fa multiple factors in practice in the finance literature and these are macroeconomic based factor models microeconomic based factor models and third class is the extension of characteristic based risk factor models the advantage of this multi factor model is that an investor can know precisely that how many and what things are needed to be estimated to fit the regression equation a primary disadvantage of this factor is that it is developed with little theoretical guidance as to the true nature of risk return relationship if we conclude we can say that developing a useful factor model is as much as an art form and as a theoretical ex exercise the first class in this category is the macroeconomic based factor models there are two models that are discussed here these are developed by roll and rose with chain in 1986 and burmister in 1994 in an influential model by rose roll and chen they hypothesized that security returns are governed by the set of broad, broad macroeconomic influences in a equation and that equation is basically uh, carrying certain factors these factors are rm which is the return on a value weighted index of any recognized stock exchange mp stands for monthly growth rate in the us industrial production dei is the change in inflation measured by us cpi or consumer price index ui is the difference between actual and expected level of inflation upr is the unanticipated change in the bond credit spread uh, like baa yield minus the risk free rate and finally uts is the unanticipated term structure shift that is the difference between long term and the short term risk free rate so these are the factors that are uh, described in the equation set by these researchers there is another model uh, by roll and rose with the burmister uh, they analyzed a model based on the different set of macroeconomic factors using the following characteristics uh, these are confidence risk time horizon risk inflation risk business cycle risk and market timing risk now what these terms are stand for cr means changes in investors willingness to take on investment risk tr is the changes in investors desired time to get payouts ir is a mix of unexpected components of short term and long term inflation rates br is the unanticipated changes in level of overall business activity whereas mr is the part of the standard and poors 500 total return not explained by the other four macroeconomic factors the second category in this multiple factor factor models is the microeconomic based risk factor model these fact models focus on relevant characteristics of a security itself to specify the risk using proxy variables like a firm size and other financial ratios of the firm in this class there is an approach set called as fama and french 
approach and that approach is used for valuing the risky assets this is a basically a three factor model approach where uh, r m t minus r f r is the excess market return return and that is the independent variable in their model where smb is basically the difference between return on small capitalized stock and the uh, large capitalized stock hml basically is the difference between a uh, high book to market portfolio and the low book to market portfolio whereas smb captures the firm's size and hml basically distinguishes between the growth risk from the value risk the third category in the class of multi factor model is the extensions of characteristic based risk factor models this class involves the usage of index portfolios as a common factor here elton gruber and blake built a model using certain indices like they used the standard poor 500 the barclays capital aggregate bond indexes the prudential batch index of the difference between the large capital capitalized and small capitalized stocks and, and last is the prudential batch index of the difference between value and growth stock so these are the five factors uh, that these researchers used in their uh, empirical model another model is set by person and the shaat Uh, they developed index using stock and bond indexes as the risk factors and they also uh, used in this model other public information variables like the shape of yield curve and the dividend payouts in this line there is an other researcher m s c i bara who developed the multi factor models using several characteristic risk based variables as the risk factors and the 50 plus industry indices